drive shafts came out of the, came out of the regal with the original motor and transmission. 350, 350 turbo transmission. So Big Breezy gave me a shout out to get the Summit Racing Aluminum one. So that's what I'm gonna run with. I just got through doing my measurements. 52 inches and it's a 3R. Uh, there's 3R uh, U-joints in there. This one don't have no tabs. So it's R 3R. So order that tonight. Right, set. Got the front of the uh, the fuel line ran on the front. I'm end up doing redoing that one once I get that smaller intake. But it's on there. Got the water pump on it like I showed you. Water pump. Got the main trail line. Do the frame rail. Already to the Corvette regulators. Uh, filter, filter regulator. Got my fittings on there. Can't go any farther. Um, I don't, want to make, I don't want to make the line too long, so I'll wait till I get the tank and body back on to get those two on there. But yeah. There you two. Switched out my uh, bolts to ARP here. I'm going to switch these out. I got some, but they were too short to go through here, so I got to get these same type here. So I got to order another pack of these to put here to get rid of that chrome bolt. And also, I'm going to see if I can get some bolts to go here. Uh, ARP uh, to a point. Uh, studs, if I can get them. If not, it'll be just a regular boat. But 12, 12 point, point, 12 points. Yeah, you too. Got the water pump on. Soon I'll get the accessory brackets. That's what's next. Well, actually, what's next is my header and my exhaust. All uh, Cooper, Cooper headers, Cooper exhaust. That's what I got next, and then after that, I'll get the accessories. Uh, exhaust is like the headers and exhaust, probably around eleven, twelve hundred dollars, thirteen hundred bucks. So that's what I got to get next. Got to save a couple more paychecks. You guys know how it is. Then I'll get this here, the front. Accessory that'll be next. I think that's uh, from Holly. That's the one I'm gonna run. The Holly one. Uh, I think with the AC and the alternator and the brackets and everything in there. Uh, I think it's around 13, 1300 bucks. Also, so the front front will be done after I get the exhaust done. That's gonna be for, that's gonna be next is the exhaust and the headers. I worked on the body a little bit today too. Go around here. It's a little small stuff. My goal is to get this car done by August. August is what I'm shooting for. I got this smooth. It's roughed up. I think I'm going to take some um, 80 to it. That's 40 there. Take some 80 to it. And then I'm going to be ready to shoot it with a uh, primer. Hmm. Well, I gotta say in this one more time with the with the 80. Maybe I might have to put another coat on there, and I'll be ready to shoot this side right here with primer. This side right here, I still work. This side is my worst fender quarter. I welded this in today. My bad about the camera. I'm moving pretty fast. I'm tired. I gotta still weld these in. Breezy, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta figure out, cause this was a soft top. This car was a soft top. And um, I got the moldings for a hard top. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get uh, the molding clips inside there so I can put my molding on here. Uh, I haven't got to that yet, but I, if anybody got any ideas what I need to do, if anybody converted their soft top to a hard top and they put the molding in, shoot me a, 
and leave something in the description for me. Um, an idea. I appreciate it. I think Breezy is looking for the same thing too. Um, oh, he's looking at the same thing. Making his into a hard top. So, if you guys got any ideas, shoot it to me. I don't have any. I, I don't know if I'm going to use small screws and screw the molding clips in there. That'll work. Or do they have something out there where you can weld it? Uh, the little rivets in there. I ain't done nothing else to the front of this thing. Move my hood and fenders. Probably knock this out. I gotta weld this in. It's the antenna hole. I'm not running no antenna. So I'm gonna weld that in. I do still gotta weld this hole up and this hole up. And this hole up down here. For the far wall. And I might put one more skim and sand. One more skim coat and sand, and that's ready for, that's ready for some better primer. That's 1K, no, that's 2K primer. Another, another sand it and shoot it, shoot it one more time. Be ready for, for paint. So, yeah, YouTube, I've been really concentrating on the frame. I, I mean, I, I do a little here and there on the body, but as soon as that frame is complete, I'm going all ham on this body. Uh, Cause. Like I said, my goal is to have this thing done by August with the um, outside of it. <clears throat> um, that's including um, the motor tuned, um, frame back on, I mean, excuse me, body back on the frame, motor tuned, and the motor running by August. That's my goal. Um, then I gotta find somebody to do the uh, interior for me, which I found the cat up in Tennessee. He's got a YouTube channel. I think I'm gonna fuck with him on the interior. But yeah, that's where I'm at, YouTube. Still gotta sand that door over there. I ain't nothing though. I can knock that out in a day. With that thing. Yeah, that's where I'm at. All right, YouTube, I'll holler at you later.